Hi, my name is Scott Nash, and I am a Vice President of Siebel Product Management, and I'm working with you today to show you some of the biggest pieces of Siebel 8 in a quick hit format so you can get briefed in 10 minutes or less. So, before I begin, I have to mention, of course, the lawyer-mandated safe harbor statement that the things I'm talking about here, of course, shouldn't be incorporated into a sales deal. So, what I'd like to do today is cover strategically why we built the Siebel Task UI, the advantages of the Task UI, and then for people who have had previous versions of our software, how does that compare to other things in there, such as SmartScript, and when should you use tasks versus other pieces of software. Again, we're going to cover this in 10 minutes, so you can come out of here with uh, stuff that you can understand whether or not you want to move up to Siebel 8. So one of the reasons that we started thinking about with Siebel 8 was that our customers were telling us that CRM was very quickly becoming mission critical. In other words, it wasn't just about delivering the same experience out to the customers. Of course, that was important, but in a lot of cases, what they told us was it was changing, that CRM could change the way that companies work on the inside, too. So what traditionally had happened was certain companies over time had developed their own best practices within each division or each product line and what they wanted to try and do was standardize the best practices across the company not only so that people that all customers would get the same treatment but more importantly so that the best practices would really be brought across all the divisions or even out to partners so we started thinking about what we needed to do then to bring those types of best practices into CRM. And this is really important because what we realized was that CRM, in addition to just being an application for sales, marketing, and service, can actually force best practices into the organization and can standardize those. So what we did was we sat down with customers and talked with them about how do we put business processes into our product. And the resulting feature set was the task UI. So first we thought about we want to be able to guide people through tasks. And by the way, we want to be able to do things like branching so that if people give different answers or customers get make decisions that you can go to different screens. And of course you can build that branching on, on either decisions made during the task or even information from other systems, which is very important. Also just to make sure that we've got high data quality and so forth, you can validate the input as it goes in at the time of input so that you make sure that the, the data is of consistently high quality. More importantly, if you're integrating to any back office systems, the data in a task is not committed until the task itself is actually completed. And that's very important because that means you don't have to write an error checking code for your data for instance, out to other systems. So the benefit strategically is, first off, that it's much easier to use, particularly for sophisticated processes, because it makes it very simple to walk through a task. Uh, secondly, the standardization means that even the newer people in the organization are able to really deliver processes with the same high quality. We talked about the data quality, and uh, of course, the lower training cost makes it far easier to roll out these new types of tasks. So if you just take a, a quick look at what a task UI looks like, at the highest level, you've got on the left side a pane that shows the steps that are required in a task to the user so that they know where they are in a task. And then on the right side, we have in the task pane, at the top, it actually tells me, what am I doing right now? I'm creating an expense report. And then the applets only show the information they need to, so that you can do these. You can do decisions, for instance, through radio buttons. And when you're finished with a step in the task, you don't need to know where else to go in an application. You can just go ahead and hit next, and it will drive you onto a task. So from the end user side, it's a, a very, very easy process end to end. We've also th sat and thought, however, about the developers. So we made it easier for business analysts to go in and describe what a task is. So they can go in and lay out the particular task, and then a developer can go in and add in the logic afterwards, which leads to another important point. Most of the development here can be done declaratively. In other words, through setting up logic, for instance, for decision points, through dialog boxes instead of using the 
scripting. And that's very important because that means that it's far easier for business analysts to go in and be able to change and test different types of things without having to, to rewrite a bunch of script, and it's far more maintainable. And I think you'll see that's one of the things that we have have done is we are we still support scripting, but we are trying to make it just easier and easier to move away from scripting and to declarative logic. And that means that your IT people don't have to spend time making rather simple changes. You can have your administrators do those changes. And of course, you've got governance in there to make sure that they're only able to make changes or the changes that are, are, are approved before they go into effect. But even we've gone so far as to make some changes done through a tabular interface, for instance, much like Excel. So it makes it far easier to put in logic into the application and to, to maintain and update that logic. So for people who are asking whether or not uh, this should be used in place of iHelp, SmartScript, and so forth, those features will still remain. For instance, iHelp is great for very simple uh, guided processes where people just need a little help. And SmartScript, of course, is, is useful in in particular call center environments, though I would say that going forward, the task UI is far more declarative and so forth. And though SmartScript won't go away, you'll probably want to start doing much more work with the task UI from now on. The other question that we're all, always asked is, at what point should I just be doing simple single screens versus tasks? And in general, if it's something that people do a lot or can be done on one screen, an expense report is a reasonably good example. That that's one where you where you might not necessarily want to go and uh, build it into a task. So really, in conclusion. What we're trying to do is allow you to put best practices into your enterprise very, very easily to take the load off of IT, to make it easier for your, your users to do e complex processes with, with a very simple UI and to improve the quality of data going in. So if you'd like to see more information on Siebel 8, please come on over to oracle.com slash CRM. Thanks so much.